our way to the observatory. I'm still not sure if there's a entry fee, but we'll find out now. Price 1500 yen per person, and we use the uh, Safa machine. And now we're going to enter. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, so this is the aerial view of Osaka. One thing I realized and one thing I noticed about the Japanese people is when you ask them for directions, they don't show you, they actually take you there. That is so amazing. They are so humble and so patient and so hospitable and polite. Wow. So we just asked this lady to show us and she's actually taking us the direction we want to go. To the skywalk. But it seems like taking the elevator. Hello. Hello. Let's walk. Okay, getting our steps. Check what those things represent. Mom, here. It's like hot. Can just gonna check it out. Okay. Oh. Just... I think they are memoirs. You can see the dates as well. There's a recent one. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. That's why the lockets are shaped in hearts. Yes, oh exactly. Alright. Umida Sky building and it seems like there's a theater inside here as well as well as the observatory that we just came from now so that we just came from right on top and this is Tower West all part of the Umeda building that's the train we could have taken Google Maps is showing us this way. Looks like a busy area. That's the uh, Daiko Royal. That's not where we're staying. 
I'll show you the hotel right now. Okay, we can check it out. We're just checking out some eating spots as well while we're at it. Gotta say, I don't mind this area. Looks like here could be lots of activities at night. Of course, there's a massage parlor. I'm not going to get into that discussion. I know you still have questions. Look at that. <laughs> this is actually reminding me a bit of Ho Chi Minh City. Here's a karaoke bar as well. I'm going to try to... Oh yeah, I was just going to say I'm going to try to convince you. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently we are doing it. Well, as long as you are singing. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Guys, please don't unsubscribe when you hear me sing. <laughs> oh. It might just happen by me. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. You'll break the internet. Yeah. I need the subscribers, guys. So maybe it could be a pity subscription. <laughs> <laughs> a sympathy vote. <laughs> right. Let's see. We're nearly there. I said I like this street. Yes. Oh, and that's Dory. I think they call the sleeping Dory. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Um, still shows straight, so. We're we leaving the street. I'm actually we're disappointed. Anyway, <laughs> oh, hey guys, we are staying like a minute's walk away from this area, so that's not bad at all. So, we're probably gonna experience some of these activities here tonight. This is it. Yeah. Min Juso. I think Juso is the name of the road. Ah. Uh, Second home juice. Okay, I think we need to just check in. Hello. How are you doing? Two. Fancy, fancy, fancy. So, Alright guys, so as you enter, uh, there are some slippers available for you. And there you go. Let's just go for the little tour. Look at this guys, a little kitchenette. Microwave, fridge, the sink, kettle. Uh, I guess this is the stove top, yes, that's right. I'm not sure there's an oven, I doubt it. No, there's no oven. Alright, mirror of course, then we have a nice little uh, dining table, big screen TV and a chill out area guys, like a lounge area, wow, it's actually so cool. I love the bathroom. Alright, let's have a look, Ken loves the bathroom, so. Because it's just so compact and that's what I think I like about Asian infrastructure or not, well, not the structures. Mm -hmm. um, because everything is so like compact, so we have like a, a big sink. Mm -hmm. But this is so cool because, hold on, I have to see, because this is the bathroom area, but this mm -hmm. is actually the shower. Yes. So nice. when you walk in, well, while you're walking into the shower, mm -hmm. which then leads into the bath. Isn't that just like dope? So like, you just awesome, man. close it like this. And spin. Uh, well, when you're on the other side, oh, I you suppose can pull you it can. Uh, you just pull it. Yeah. Like there so. we go. You tag it, Lovely. and then you just push it in again, and then, mm -hmm. and they even have like recycling, guys. Wow. This is just like, wow, wow. Awesome. combustibles, yes. cans, PET bottles, spray cans, and bottles as well. Awesome. Bomb. What is this? Bomb. This must be the toilet. The toilet. The yes. It's so cool. And of course, you know the Japanese Yay. style. Like, this has become one of my favorite features yes. of Japan because it's just so cleanly. It is. And hygiene. And it hits the spot, guys. Uh, <laughs> right. Push. Thank you. Oh, push. Oh, wow, sorry. That's the uh, for space your for shoes. shoes. All right, nice. Awesome, and this must be the closet space. Yes, closet space. <gasps> Extra blankies. Oh, they even have an iron. Nice. This, I, I, 
I have a feeling that this hotel is it's even better than the one we had in Tokyo. Yeah, and that one was great. Charging points. Yes. The one thing I did notice in Tokyo thus far and now in Osaka, I didn't see a lot of USB ports at the uh, charging station. Wow. It's always just a normal plug. And then you've got to then insert your plug with your USB port. So that's the one thing that I'm not too happy about because many times I don't travel during the day with my universal plug. So, but anyway guys, you win some, you lose some.